Welcome to the Kids Zone channel, children. Now I am going to tell you the story of Kitu's lazy legs. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Kitu. She was very naughty and lazy. Whenever anybody asked her to do something, she would just say, I would love to, but my legs just won't budge. Ask my legs first, and if they are ready, I'll be too. She felt very glad at her cleverness and avoided all work and just played all day long. Her mother, her teachers and friends were all annoyed at her naughtiness and her silly reasons but no matter how hard they tried, they couldn't change her. And then one day a new teacher joined the school. Teacher did not know about Kitu's habit of avoiding work. So she called Kitu and asked her to fetch the duster from the staff room downstairs. Kitu was feeling very lazy on the day. Would love to go ma'am. But my legs would just won't listen to me today. They refuse to walk. You can walk. Ask my legs yourself. If they go, I'll do. She She concluded boldly and giggled. She said it without even getting up from her chair. The teacher was very surprised at first and then she was terribly annoyed. What sort of a silly reason was that? Whoever heard of legs having a mind of their own? What a lazy girl, thought the teacher. She needs to be taught a lesson. She thought. And that is exactly what the teacher did. The next day, the teacher organized a musical chair competition for the students and the prize for the winner was a beautiful geometry box. Now Kitu loved new stationery items and she definitely wanted to win the geometry box. What more, she was very good at playing musical chess. Kitu excitedly ran to the teacher to enter her name. As soon as Kitu told the teacher what she had come for, teacher bent down and pretended to speak to Kitu's legs. Hello legs, the teacher said innocently. Do you like to play musical chair? Run around and strain yourself or would would you rather just sit and have fun? And then nodding, as if she got the answer, she looked at Kitu quietly, seriously and said, I would love to include your name in a musical chair game, Kitu. But you see, I asked your legs and they just refused to play. I am awfully sorry. Everybody around laughed out loud and Kitu felt terrible. She ran away from there as fast as she could. As she could. A few days later, after this, the teacher organized a wonderful trekking trip to the nearby hills, followed by a night camp in the forest. Now, naughty little Kitu loved outdoors and she was very excited at the news of the outing. The whole class was going. What fun they could have sleeping in tents at night and a campfire blazing. Oh, what a nice exertion. Kitu wanted to be included and she rushed to the teacher to give her name for the same. Teacher again bent down and asked, Do you want to climb all those hills legs? Could be bitten by mosquitoes at the night camp and it would be uh, such an inconvenience to know, she said. And then she got up looking very solemn. Sorry Kitu, your legs are really lazy. They just refuse to budge. They say... They wouldn't want to tire themselves climbing hills but would stay at home and relax. I am terribly sorry, she concluded. Kitty burst out crying on hearing the teacher. Sorry ma'am, really sorry, I will not play such nasty tricks again. Please, oh please, let me come. I promise to be good, she wailed. She wailed. The teacher felt sorry for Kitu. She decided to give Kitu's chance. Well, if you promise not be lazy again, you can come, smiled the teacher, wiping Kitu's tears. Kitu was elated. She thanked the teacher profusely and rushed home to pack her bags for the trip.
while Kitu was packing her things, mother came and asked Kitu to fetch a coconut from the shop near grandma's house. Kitu began, but mom my legs and then suddenly she cut short her sentence. She grabbed the money from mom's hand, mom's hand and ran to the shop. Mom was well prepared for the leg story, but the sudden change, sudden change in Kitu surprised her and at the same time made her, made her glad too. She, she was in fact very pleased not to hear the leg story. She prepared a nice sweet dish for Kitu, but mom still wonders what changed Kitu so suddenly. Mom doesn't know, but we know, right? Okay children? So we must be all we should not be lazy. From the story we understand we should be always brisk and busy with our things what what we can do. Okay children, if you like this channel, press the like button and subscribe to this channel, children. Thank you children.